Would you look at the time? It's time for another video. Good day to your fellow adventurers through our time and space. It is I, the Cowardly Time Lord, reactor. Let's play Final Fantasy 2 Part 6. Part 6. There's a run to the Goblin Prince. Goblin Prince, pretty rare enemy. And then, of course, Borgen. Sorry, I love that music. Oh, Joseph. Bye bye. Cure Tome, I'm not even going to waste giving that to Gordon. Trap Room. Doesn't matter. Also, you can run into adamantites in this dungeon. Yeah, they were a boss in the last dungeon. They're a regular enemy in this dungeon. How does that work? I'm not certain. Also, I've had a pounding headache the past two days. Like, seriously pounding headache.
I don't know what's been causing it, but it's getting worse. I can tell. Also, I've been feeling quite cold recently, ever since I got this headache. I hope I'm not getting, like, a brain cold or something. Wraiths. I dislike wraiths. They're the first of the enemies that you should run up with that have the sucking ability. The draining attack. I don't know what to call it. The blood sword attack, I guess. Because you can get a weapon called the blood sword that does the same thing. Now, before opening this chest, if you haven't been grinding like I have, you want to save. And it contains a worthless shield. And you, you can fight up to eight were-rats. I know you're thinking, were-rats don't seem all that threatening. They can poison. Well, actually, in Venom. That is, it's called in this game. In older versions of this game, it's called in Venom. Which means basically permanent poison status ailment that you can only get rid of with Asuna. The temporary poison, which is literally just poison, is... It's not annoying. But the permanent version you want an Asuna spell for. And the reason why I've got two characters with, five, with level 5 Asuna is because level 5 Asuna can cure... Stone, if I'm not mistaken, which is really the status element that I worry about the most. Adamantois. Attack it. Where Buster? Yay. <laughs> Mithril Axe and Mithril Sword. The Werebuster is just straight up a better, um, mace. Ugh. 
What is up with all these adamant hoises? Now even at my level, well not even at my level or strength or whatever you want to call it, do I really need to save here, but it's still worth it because of the fact that you can run into eight mines in this box, which I guess are really nothing to me at this strength, but, well, Gordon might get exploded. Never mind.
Anyways, here's the boss of this dungeon, so I would save. It means nothing to me at my strength yet again. Hmm? I'd heard there was a monster guarding the eagle's torch. Now I've seen it with my own eyes, a red soul. Do, 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 And he's dead. And he was only worth 18 gil? That can't be right, right? He was only worth 18 gil. I got at the very lowest end of his amount of money worth. I feel cheated. Anyways, and here you obtain the eagles, e eagles, eagles, bagel, bagel, eagle, 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 eagle's torch. How to use the teleport spell? The sunfire base is brilliantly. Items Eagle's Torch Eagle's Torch The Sunfire passes to the Eagle's Torch It sounds like I'm saying Eagle Eagle Hey you ever heard the joke about the fireworks? Never mind, they were too illegal. I don't know. That wasn't a joke. That was... That was not even a joke. That was just... Uh, that wasn't even a pun. That was just a failure. Ignore everything I say. That's my motto. Ow! Sorry, just got a massive cramp. Maybe I should drink more water. Maybe that would help with both my heads and my my heads. Yes, I've got multiple heads. My head and my cramping. Look at Sid's airship. Followed by the dreadnought. What's going on? Also, must I say, this cutscene is awesome. And reminds me of a certain scene from Star Wars.
Chocobo Forest. Look, it's a Chocobo. How can we be upset about Sid's airship being overtaken when there's a Chocobo to ride? You found a Chocobo. Well, we found where the dreadnoughts parked. That's good. You gotta love the Chocobo song, even when it's all the way back to its origins, where it didn't sound very good. You still gotta love the Chocobo theme. Anyways, let's talk to Lady Hilda about this about this kidnapping of Sid's airship, shall we? Where is she? I am now King Dustin. Now Well the princess was captured and this, and this, and of course, this is all your fault, too. This old man just insults you throughout the whole game. You blow up the dead knot, you can blow away, blow your way out of a cloth sack. Well, if Hilda is in here and the princess is somehow captured, let's talk to Minwoo and the king. The princess felt badly about always sending you out on such dangerous assignments. She thought that she at least she could do was to meet you at Cash One Keep on Sid's airship. Please, please rescue my daughter. Oh, don't worry, we shall. Then buy another mithril spear and some more mithril armor for our friend Gordon.
Anyways, this marshland marks a border and where the enemies become a whole lot tougher. Now you want to meet up with one particular enemy before entering the Dreadnought that you can find around the Dreadnought. It is a rare enemy, not as rare as the Goblin Prince, but rare. I believe it's called the Floor of Ancos. Oh, magicians! Hooray! They will help increase our magic defense. Also, mm. also they can drop some pretty good spell tomes that we can use ourselves. Please blind some characters. I could do with a bit more Asuna grinding. Berserk Tome.
we're at the Dreadnought, but I'm not ready to enter that yet. Because there's still one enemy I want to run into before I enter the Dreadnought. That is, really, this is the only time in the game you can run into it. So I wouldn't risk not fighting it now. And like I said before, that enemy I believe is called the Ferrancos. So in the next episode, we'll, we'll fight the Ferrancos and enter the Dreadnought. Unless I enter, unless the next fight I enter is the Ferrancos, we'll, I just want to get into one more fight. I believe it's more likely to run into it into the forest. Or maybe I'm incorrect. Anyways, this looks like a good place to sign off. So this is the Cowardly Time Lord signing off and saying, have a good day or whatever time it is wherever you are. I want to get out of this fight before I really end off the episode, though. So... So, bye-bye now.